Oh, hey, how's it going? You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna watch how I negotiated for this John Lackey Superfractor. There's a Superfractor over here I'm gonna try to get. It's over here, hopefully. We're gonna buy a Superfractor. Let's go. All right, let's go. You're okay being filmed again, it's okay? Fine. Yeah. All right. All right. I'd like to see the, uh, the, Michael the, Jordan? <laughs> the John Lackey underneath the Michael Jordan. Right. Thank you for hiding that for me, by the way. <laughs> That one. There you go. All right. John Lackey, one of one. It's a great card. And we talked about this earlier. It comes from the 2010 Bowman Chrome set. It's an official pack issued card there. There's a lot of proofs that were made of these cards. I don't know if you've seen them. No serial number on the back. So they produced them for essentially quality control or replacement. So like someone pulls this it's damaged, someone calls Tops, and they say, hey, you know, my card's damaged, one of one, what can you do for me? They pull the replacement copy, they hand serial number the card, they send it to the, the, the customer. So the customer sends in the damaged card for the replacement. And the only difference is, it's hand serial numbered one of one on the back, okay. right? Yeah. So like, that's a little bit of backstory with the, the Super Fractor, or really a lot of different cards that came out around this era. era. You can find like the replacement examples of them. That became a thing kind of in the late 90s, actually in the early 90s, 1991, Donner's Elite had replacements just like that, where they had no numerator on the serial number in the back. So if someone said, hey, I got the Jose Canseco Donner's Elite card. Yeah. They call in, it's damaged, they pull the replacement copy. They probably made a few, and they say, what's the numerator serial number? They'll write it in, probably as they get the card to confirm it. Right. They keep the, the damaged copy, they send the replacement onto the consumer. So kind of a cool thing. This particular one's the pack issued. You pulled it, you said. Yeah, I did you pull talked it. Uh -huh. it. So I just want to share the, like a little backstory on some of the like how that sort of happens should you pull it, the John Lackey's in bad shape, right? Kind of a fun thing. So I want to talk about that. So you got it at 40, because he did now tell us how you priced the 40. So uh, I got on eBay and looked at uh, comps, similar comps. Yeah. Obviously you're not gonna find a one of one. But um, I went off of, you know, one of 25, sure. one of 50. Right. And I said, you know what, those were going for about 25, I mean, uh, what was it, uh, 25, I think 40 for the uh, 25, number to 25, right. something like that. Yeah. I said, you know what, um, I think 40 is about fair. Yeah. yeah so. And how long have you said you've had this on display? Uh, first time dealer yeah. at this show. Okay. So that's been in storage since... Um, 2010. 2010. When you pulled it. Uh, I took it out of storage and I put it in this book. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you um, has have you had any in interest in this car before uh, I came to you for I about had it? One gentleman look at it. He yeah. said, "What is that?" I said, "It's a one to one superfractor." And what did he He's say? He's like, "What's a superfractor?" Really? You uh, had to explain to him. One of one. Kind of gave him a little bit of. He's like, "Okay." Walked away. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So you know. And we were talking about this before that that, yeah. that one of ones became a thing pack issued wise in 1997 with 1997 flare right. showcase the purple text in the back one of one masterpiece yeah. and then other companies came on board after 1997 to produce one of ones and basically say hey we've got cool stuff too. come buy our product it became like a marketing thing Let's fast forward to 2010 a lot of companies were doing it but by 2010 we talked about this before Tops owned the, the Monopoly in, by 2010 because Upper Deck lost their MLB and MLBPA license. And, and, and Panini had been acquired years prior, but they didn't have the MLB and MLBPA license, so they weren't able to produce a lot of stuff that had the same marquee value that Tops did. And because Tops had st bought Bowman in, two, in, in 1955, um, yeah. Tops produces all the Bowman products. And Bowman, all their Bowman lines, they have one of ones and one of fives and one of twenty fives and fifties and ninety nines and ever et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of a lot of one of ones came out of two thousand ten, but even now there are more products coming out of Tops and Panini and Leaf even is is, is also a player in the market. Let me ask you a question: Did sure. each player have a one of one? So every card in the two thousand ten Bowman Chrome set uh -huh. or Bowman Chrome Prospects has an example that is a one of one. Okay. And not all players have autographs. There's like an A and a B with the like later in the set on the prospects examples, A being the non-autographed, B being the autographed card, right? Yeah. And so all those come with, if, if the player has both A and B, Steven Strasburg only has A, but he doesn't, he doesn't there's not an A after the, let, the number because it's just, the, it's just the, the card, there's no there's no B, so they had no reason to put an A. So, but that card can be found as a super fractor. So if the, if the card is in the set, it can be found in super fractor form. 
Yeah. And then all the other versions of it after, like the orange, orange auto, red, red auto, gold, gold auto, blue, blue auto, assuming that that auto exists. So kind of a cool little backstory about 2010 Bowman Chrome. A favorite set of mine. I really appreciate the design of this set. I like that when you bought the packs, you remember it was two paper and two chrome. Yes. Like that was the thing. You remember that? I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and so and the chrome cards had a really interesting uh, concave to them. They were they kind of bended over time. You right. might remember right. that. I remember that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I, I would like to, if you're interested, would 30 be a good counter for this? I think so. You think so? I think so. Man. Okay. Uh, I, I think you um, you showed me a lot, a lot of things I didn't know about that. Okay. You gave me a lot of insight. And, yeah. Um, and I can appreciate the fact that it caught your eye. And, um, yeah, definitely. You know, just the history of that, man. That's great. So, yes, $30. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Yes, sir. You, can, you got 10 <laughs> Yes, sir, I do. All right. All right. All right. John Lackey, Super Fractor, coming home here. We'll do this. 30 for this. So, I, I bought the Super Fractor. It was a good buy. Now I know what you're thinking. I need to watch more of this guy's content. He's pretty good. That's what you're thinking. You are right. Hit the subscribe button.